Colleagues, uh, I've got a very special guest up here today with this crew. Um, we've got Commander Mike uh, Wohnhaus, uh, from, uh, who's going to be the commander of the USS Detroit. It's a littoral combat ship, and if you haven't heard of what a littoral combat ship is, because it's a little bit different class, for those of you familiar with battleships, destroyers, and cruisers, littoral combat ship's a new class of ship that's essentially a jet ski with missiles. And uh, we're truly honored to have uh, Commander Wonhas, along with his uh, uh, Lieutenant Commander Chris Farriker and uh, Command Senior Chief Vince Winfield joining us today, and uh, also a good friend of mine, retired Navy Captain John McCandless and former board member with me at the Michigan Freedom Center. Um, it's a real honor, and I just want to give a little bit of background because we talk a lot about Detroit in this chamber, and uh, sometimes the stuff we're talking about in Detroit isn't so good. This is something really good. And uh, we've got, first of all, we've got an honorable man, an honorable crew um, that's going to be working and representing the city of Detroit throughout the world. And uh, um, also, we've got a heads up, too, that we're going to be having a little a ceremony here in a, in a couple years, a little bit over a year and a half, out in the city of Detroit as well. So I just want to give a quick introduction so that the people here uh, and, and the people of Michigan and the, and the citizens of Detroit understand what kind of caliber of individual we're going to have leading us, uh, leading the uh, LCS uh, or the USS Detroit. And, uh, and I, this is a case where I think we can feel good about some of the things that are coming and are happening here in the future here for our citizens. So I want to give a little brief bio here. And uh, since he's wearing his dress whites here, if he starts blushing, you'll be able to see it even that more pronounced. Uh, so um, Commander Ownhaus is a native of Barnesville, Pennsylvania. Um, he attended the United States Naval Academy, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in history. Um, and uh, I know a certain senator here that likes a lot of quotes. I'm sure he can help you out with a lot of quotes here as well. Um, his sea duty assignments include communications, main propulsion, and gunnery officers uh, on the USS Anzio, and damage control assistant on USS Supply. As a department head, he served as combat systems officer in the USS Vandegrift, and four deployed to Yokosuka, Japan. And as force protection, combat systems, and training readiness officer for Commander uh, Destroyer Squ uh, Squadron 26, he was the plank owner and executive officer of the USS William P. Lawrence as well. And ashore, Commander Ownhaus taught damage control and uh, gunnery at the Service, uh, Surface War Warfare Officer School Division Officer Course in Newport, Rhode Island. And there are no short titles in the military, I've noticed. <laughs> um, he earned uh, joint qualifications as a Maritime Operations Officer at the Joint Forces Command, Joint Enabling Capabilities Command, a deployable headquarters element where he deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. His latest shore tour was in the Future Ships Requirements Office at Commander uh, Naval, Surfaces, uh, Naval Surface Forces Pacific, where he led the drafting of the DDG-1000 Platform Wholeness Concept of Operations and led the LCS Fleet Introduction Sustainability Panel. In 2007, the commander earned a Master of Military Arts and Sciences degree in strategy from the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, where he also earned Joint Professional Military Education Phase One. He completed Joint Professional Military Education Phase Two at the Joint Forces uh, Staff College in Norfolk, Virginia in 2009 and is a Joint Qualified Officer. His personal awards include the Meritorious Service Medal, Joint Service Commendation Medal, which is three awards, and Navy Marine Corps Commendation Medal, and three awards to that nature, and the Navy Achievement Medal. He is slated to command the pre-commissioning unit of, the U of Detroit, of the USS Detroit, it's LCS-7. It's currently under construction in the Great Lakes out in Marinette, Wisconsin. Um, we're hoping to get in the water in September, and then the formal christening slated for sometime in 2016. So uh, it's with uh, great gratitude for their service, for each and every one of their service, um, and their pending service and representation of the fine city of Detroit and the fine state of Michigan throughout the world that I introduce you all to uh, Commander Wohnhaus and his team. Thank you very much, Senator. It's a, a great honor to be up here. It's a great honor to, uh, to, repre to uh, represent a ship 
that, uh, that bears the great name of the city of Detroit. Uh, I've had a wonderful reception in the, in the city of Detroit and uh, really means a lot to me to, uh, to be with you here today. Uh, I really, uh, really humbled to, uh, to be here because my, uh, my main role is, uh, as commanding officer of, uh, of your ship, the Detroit, is to, uh, is to lead some great people who, uh, who actually leave me with very little work to do. So uh, I appreciate, uh, appreciate your kind remarks, Senator, but uh, the real credit belongs with the, uh, the great men and women of the, uh, the crew of the USS Detroit. Uh, so I, I thank you all very much. Uh, just a, a few updates. The, uh, the Detroit is about 68% complete. I'll get to, uh, get to see her uh, tomorrow at uh, Shipbuilding Progress Conference in Marinette. And uh, as the Senator said, we will uh, we'll put her in the water, uh, christen her. Mrs. Barbara Levin, our sponsor, will uh, formally assign the ship's name, Detroit, uh, in September of this year. And uh, following that, uh, in March or April of 2016, we will uh, sail her around and have our commissioning ceremony uh, just recently approved by the Secretary of the Navy at the Levin Center in Detroit. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to working with the, uh, with the people of Michigan, the people of Detroit, and uh, keeping a lifelong relationship with all of you. Thank you. The best part here, we got a flag, remind them uh, wherever he goes. So when they're stationed out in, around the world in Singapore and all the different ports, they get, they'll have a little bit of Michigan with them here with the Michigan flag. So enjoy. thank you very much for your service, and we really appreciate everything you've done. Oh, thank you very much, sir. This will fly over the ship with honor. Uh, great. Thanks. <laughs>